Hi, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about one-step equations and this is our day one lesson of our unit. So let's get started. So first, let's look at what an equation is. Here's an example of an equation. Three plus x equals 10. What makes it an equation is that it has an equal sign. The equal sign means equation. Equal equation, get it? Okay. So what it literally means is that this 10 is equal to three plus something. We just don't know what the something is. Okay. So what do we do if we can't figure it out just by looking at it and making um, good math sense? There are some things that we can do. So we're, we try to get X by itself. And there's basically, it's like a puzzle. There's some things that we can do to keep the two sides of the equation equal, but at the same time, remove things from one side because their value or their operation and value is gonna to go to the other side. That's when we do the inverse operation to both sides. Inverse means opposite. So if it's plus, it's gonna be the inverse would be minus. And if it's minus, the inverse would be plus. And that's all we're gonna work with today. So let's look at some examples, okay? So remember, we're trying to get x by itself, and we do that by doing the inverse operation to both sides. So three plus x is equal to 10. This side is equal to this side. So the inverse operation we would do would be the one with the three. It's a positive three, so we would call that a plus three. So we can get, rid of the three or move the three over, however you want to look at it, and keep the equation balanced by doing the same thing to both sides. So when we subtract three from this side, we're left with x because three minus three is zero. And on this side, 10 minus three is seven. So we keep our equal sign, got our two sides going on here and we get x equals seven. Okay, what if it is subtraction? So we have x minus 10 equals four, something minus 10 is equal to four. Okay, well we can do the inverse operation, which would be plus 10 to both sides. So negative 10 plus 10 is zero, so now this side is just x, and four plus 10 is 14, so x equals 14, and that's our answer. You can always take this number to go back and check, 14 minus 10 equals four, just to make sure that your number sentence is correct. So yeah, that's what we got for today, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.